What is up, you beautiful happy hustlers out there? Kerry Jack here, and I hope that you are just ready to dive in to today's message because this one can change the game. It's answering one very important question that I want you to answer right now, and that is, are you living to work or are you working to live? Now, let me ask that again. Are you living to work or are you working to live? Because those right there are the choices. You know, I'll tell you straight up, back in the day, early part of my entrepreneurial journey, I was just living to work. All I was doing was working. You know, I was rocking a $3,000 Prada suit and Tom Ford loafers and, you know, swanky Prisol glasses that, mind you, I got for pennies on the dollar from a modeling gig. But I was grinding my face off with this fancy outfit on playing the tech founder part in Manhattan, in New York City. And, you know, we were faking it till we make it. We had this really good tech startup that had a lot of merit. It was solving the problem of feedback. And, you know, we were solidifying a seven-figure VC funding deal. And we basically inked partnerships with Microsoft and IBM in the process. And we were working 100 plus hour weeks. I mean, grinding our face off. We were actually, my brother, by we, I mean my brother, business partner, and best friend, Grant, we were sharing a shithole <laughs> apartment in Queens, New York in a queen size bed. It's, you know, oddly enough, Queens, Queens, yes. And uh, it was one of those things that, you know, I look back on as yes, it helped shape me, but man, was I just not happy. I was just working all the time. And, you know, the sad part is I actually burn out. And if you have ever heard my story, you know that that's kind of what sent me on this journey to create happiness within the hustle, you know, to really start the happy hustle, to write my book, the happy hustle, to create the podcast, the happy hustle, you know, and like my goal now is to help people out there, people like you really put the happy in their everyday hustle. And it starts by answering this question, you know, are you living to work? Or are you working to live? And you really just have to be honest with yourself on this one. I can be honest. When I was grinding my face off, all I was doing was working. That's it. You know, and it cost me my health. It cost me my relationships. It cost me my sanity. And then when I just folded the tech startup and, you know, I said, I can't do it anymore to my brother. You know, we, we had this like breakdown, but we really just both were just on this, you know, deep depths of despair and we just couldn't take the VC funding deal. We couldn't take the partnership. So I moved to Bangkok, Thailand for 10 months, figured out a better way to work and live over there. And then my brother went back to get his master's at the University of Florida. And now he has his own eco breakthroughs business that I advise on and, and am an investor in. And, you know, I have my own business, the Happy Hustle and a couple other ventures. But the point is now I'm doing something that's so aligned. I'm so just stoked every day for the most part. You know, when I get up and get to talk to amazing entrepreneurs and happy hustlers and share their story. And the reason I share that little, you know, walk down memory lane is because it's possible for you as well to get in that to that flow, into that alignment with exactly what you want to be doing. And I'm going to walk through the steps right now. So buckle up again. Because this one is actually going to be one of those episodes and, and messages that if you take to heart, it will, you know, it will change things straight up. And, you know, if you're not happy, that's okay. But the first step is to acknowledge your current situation. So the first step is acknowledge your current situation, right? Like if you want to create a purposeful business or career, you have to acknowledge where you are right now. And if you know the Happy Hustle soul mapping framework, this is like the 10 alignments of being a happy hustler. The I in the soul mapping acronym stands for impactful work. And it's oftentimes, you know, one of those uh, most important topics that when people get to the I in, in impactful work, they realize, damn, I'm not happy hustling. I'm just hustling, <laughs> you know, and that's where I was. Now I'm happy hustling. Um, so I want you to just think about five would be like, you are so aligned right now. You are so passionate about what you do. You're excited every day. That's a five. One is like, eh, I'm just not at all stoked. I feel so out of alignment with what I do for my career and for a paycheck. And you just have to kind of quantify right now, 
one to five where you're at in this impactful work. And we quantify all of these, the soul mapping, different alignments. If you want to take the assessment, it's free. You can go to thehappyhustle.com and there you can just actually take a free assessment on all 10 of them. But for this topic right now, we're going to stick with impactful work. And you just have to really ask yourself, you know, are you going to a job that you dislike or even hate? You know, are you waking up and dreading what you're doing? You know, or is there a conflict with your boss or your coworkers? You know, like, is it possible for you to do something else and make money doing something that you would actually want to, you know, do something that you would actually want to spend your time on? You must truly identify, you know, where you're at right now in terms of impactful work and then where you actually want to go. Okay. Now, I'll tell you again, like before I uh, really made that pivot from, you know, oh, I'm a tech entrepreneur and we're about to close this VC funding. Like I was just completely honest with Grant, my brother, you know, and he was honest with me. And we were just we just acknowledged the situation. We're like, we are not happy. We are hustling our base up. This is unsustainable. So you have to first start with that step of acknowledging the current situation. Okay. the second step, make a game plan. All right. After you acknowledge, you know, where you're at, now you need to make a game plan to get somewhere different, right? And, you know, we acknowledge that we were unfulfilled and unhappy, right? Then we got crystal clear on exactly where we wanted to go. You know, what was the true vision for our lives? You know, what did we wish to create? What was like actual, actually God's plan for us, right? If you believe in that sort of thing, of course. I do. I believe in God. Now, you have to make a game plan as to how you are going to exit your current career or your current job if it's not fulfilling for you, right? And, you know, if you're not happy hustling your dream reality right now, that's okay, but you have the power to change it, all right? That's the thing. You have the power to change it, and you have the ability to be brave and to make a different choice. You have the ability to say no to what you don't want and hell yes to what you do want, right? And you can happy hustle a new future and a purposeful career that really brings you joy to your everyday reality. And it starts right now by just identifying, okay, where you want to go, right? And and you acknowledge the current situation. Now you make a game plan to where you want to go. And I'm going to break it down a little further because these were three of the best questions that I've ever answered in regards to my impactful work. And these were from my friends at Brand Builders Group, Rory and AJ Vaden. They actually have this a part of their curriculum. And I'm actually a Brand Builders Group member, as well as this now like BBG evangelist. But the point is, these three questions really, truly helped me on my journey, establish my true north. Like, what does impactful work look like? And how do I get there? Okay, the first question I want you to answer is, what problem do you feel called to solve? What problem do you feel called to solve? Maybe right now you realize you're not solving a problem that you're really passionate about. You know, maybe you're realizing, ah, you're working at a software company for insurance agents and you're like, I don't really care at all about helping people with their insurance. I wanna help people, you know, lose weight or, you know, transform their mindset or whatever, right? But you have to determine what problem you feel called to solve. In bonus points, if you can determine it in one word, okay? One word is the like, the creme de la creme right? (laughs) You want to distill it down so it's so clear that everyone knows. Oh, Kerry Jack, yeah, he solves the one word problem of imbalance. And that's what I landed on was imbalance because I was out of balance as a hustler. Now I'm in balance, (laughs) in balance, not in, in balance as a happy hustler, right? I have blissful balance both in my personal life and my professional life, right? The second question, what do you feel called to solve or who, excuse me, who do you feel called to solve that problem for, right? Who do you feel called to solve that problem for? Very important that you're solving a problem for someone who you actually wanna solve it for, right? For me, I love solving the problem of imbalance for purpose-driven male online entrepreneurs, 28 to 38, making over six figures, right? I was there, that was me, right? And I wanted, I wanna help people like me. I also love helping females, female entrepreneurs, but my sweet spot, I identified, right? And you need to identify your sweet spot, your perfect target avatar, okay? Very important point, because if you solve a problem for someone you don't really care about, you're going to not be fulfilled with your work, 
Okay, so just really, really imperative that you you make sure you solve a problem that you care about and then you solve it for people who you actually want to solve it for. And then the third question to ask yourself is, what is your uniqueness? You know, and how can you actually exploit that in the service of others, right? What is your uniqueness and how can you actually exploit that in the service of others, okay? This is like the three questions to help get you clarity. You know, if you answered that you're right now just like living to work, well, answer these questions now and then determine your true north. Make that game plan and reverse engineer the process to happy hustle a life that you truly love. All right. Now, I want to throw in another very important point, and that is your why, right? You know, I see hustling as like, you know, busting your ass and, and working hard to do what you want to do, you know, and although a lot of people, you know, can misuse the word hustling, like they have like a negative connotation to it. But I personally see it as like I doing whatever it takes to get what you want, you know, and to get the job done, staying up late, waking up early, making cold calls, showing up without a meeting, you know, getting rejected over and over again, but still continuing anyway. This is hustling to me. Okay. Now, the thing about hustling and what you'll find is if you're not passionate about what you're hustling for, you're going to burn out. You're going to lose steam. You won't be able to persevere past the inevitable adversity sustainably long term. And that is why you really must determine your why. To hustle harder than you ever have in your life you have to identify your why deep within yourself, okay? What is the purpose behind your work? Why are you doing it, you know? Why do you want what you want? This is your fuel. When you are feeling down, rejected, or discouraged, which often happens when you're an entrepreneur, <laughs> yeah, that does, the why is there to lift you up and help you keep pushing forward. Right? The thought of status and material things, oh, that new Ferrari or a house in the mountains, like that's good, you know, to help you persevere, sure. But that's not enough in the toughest of times. You need something deeper in your soul to push you past those inevitable adversities that will strike. Okay? And it needs to be emotionally charged. Like, I'll just tell you straight up for me, my mom is sick, she's been sick the majority of my life. We moved 24 times before the age of 18 because of her sickness. And one of my driving factors is to take care of her, is to buy her her dream home that she isn't healthy to live in to get her the most, you know, top-notch professional medical care. And that is one of my driving forces, no question. And that why helps me persevere past the inevitable adversities. So you got to think about what your why is. You got to think about, you know, your reason, your reason for pursuing your goal. And maybe it will change, you know, a little bit over time, but you just have to know that this why is something so deep, so, you know, impactful for you that when you are feeling discouraged, you think of your why and you get after it. So get clear on your why and get clear on those three questions, right? What problem you solve, who you solve it for, and what is your uniqueness and how do you exploit that in the service of others? And then make a game plan to shift your current situation. If you are right now just living to work, but let's get you to work and to live, you know, where you can go and maybe enjoy the hot springs on a, you know, middle of the day, middle of the week, type of uh, scenario like I do or go fly fishing when you want to or horseback riding or snowboarding like I love doing my passionate hobbies which is another alignment in the soul mapping framework and I get to do them because I work to live you know that's the difference when you're just getting up and you're grinding away eight to five had a corporate career that you don't feel passionate about you're very limited you don't have freedom you don't have choices so I want you to choose right now differently. If that's you out there right now, choose differently. Choose to work to live, not live to work. And that's the message for today, y'all. I really hope that this landed. I hope that you go back through it. I hope that you send it to someone who might, you know, might need it. Maybe they need this little inspiration. They need a, a framework to get them from where they are to where they want to go. 
and maybe this can help. So I appreciate you guys so much for watching and listening. Truly, from the bottom of my heart, it means the world to me. And if you want to go deeper on this topic, you can pick up a copy of my book, The Happy Hustle, 10 Alignments to Avoid Burnout and Achieve Blissful Balance. It's actually still free. Yes, I'm giving away for free. Uh, you can go to thehappyhustlebook.com. Just help out with shipping and handling, and we send it right to your door. And we talk about impactful work in this book specifically alignment number nine and you will actually see the framework that i just discussed as well as the happy hustle dote formula which if you don't know about the happy hustle dote formula it's like step by step how to get to where you want to go um this is really it's all my best work piled in this 150 pages so check it out the happy but regardless i appreciate you guys so much for watching and listening and it just you know it, it means the world to me that this is you know, something that you actually take your time and listen and watch because time is our most precious commodity. And and here's the, the last thing I'll say is when you are just living to work, you're wasting your time. You're wasting your time not enjoying the sweetest moments of life, your family and your friends and, you know, giving back and living a life of service. And, you know, if you really, really, truly love your work, you'll give yourself that blissful balance because you'll do better work if you have that blissful balance where you're not just constantly on the grind. You'll come back to it with a refreshed and rejuvenated mindset. So just give yourself that, that permission to start to actually work to live and you will be happier and you will be hustling and you will be just happy hustling your dream reality full of that passion, that purpose, and that positive impact. I'm Kerry Jack, y'all, and I appreciate you again. Peace and love.